I'm Dan Briesbois, and this is the Farmer Spreadsheet Academy. We will be talking about how to autofill cells with the fill handle. Here's that link if you want to follow along at home. We're going to start by trying to build a sales projection for the coming year. This would usually be the first step of your crop planning process. Once you know how much money you want to make, you figure out how to do a marketing plan to hit that, and part of it is making a sales projection. And it looks fairly blank right here. So the first column is the crop. We can choose, let's see, we're going to grow some lettuce. This drop down, this is data validation. We looked at this in Farmer Spreadsheet tip number 14. It's referring to this sheet over here, and these are the options that people have to choose from. So somebody you can choose lettuce, and then we'll skip this column for a moment and write in a date. The first market of the year is gonna be the 6th of July, which is a Saturday, and that's week 27. So this is a formula that refers to this cell, and we're gonna to go to the market on that day, and we're gonna bring 100 units of lettuce, and we're gonna sell them at $3 a piece. If we sold all that lettuce, we'd make $300. This is the first line of our sales projection. And we want to do this for each crop that we have. We have this other sheet in the other tab called annual projected sales, which tabulates for each of these crops how much we're expecting to, to sell. So right now there's only one line of lettuce, so we're going to make $300 off of that lettuce. How do we fill this out? This is what today's tip is all about. If you click on lettuce, kind of highlighted in blue, and in the lower right corner, there's a little blue square. You can grab that and you can drag and drop and it copy pastes everything the same. Do the same with the week number. Now this is giving different results because it's a formula. Here, this is the week number of this date, and this is the week number of no date, so 52. When we add another date, the next week would be 713. That's week 28. Now we could drag the market and it copies, and we could drag the 100 and it copies. Generally, when you just have one item, it is gonna copy paste the whole item all the way down. But if it's numbers, and you had a sequence of numbers already beginning, so this says 101, and I'm to highlight both of them, grab the fill handle and pull, it's gonna follow the sequence that I wrote. So this is something that's good right here with the dates. I wanna follow the sequence. So every seven days, you know, it's a new week, I can pull this down and it fills the sequence. The 6th of July, 13th of July, 20th of July, 27th of July. So it's adding seven days each time. I didn't have to do any formula and it automatically happens. 713 again, that's where we we're at. So we'll just drag this down here. Now that we have two lines that are setting a pattern, that we can pull this down and we're gonna go up to the October 26th market. We have each week of the year, how much lettuce we're hoping to sell. And then we'll work with this backwards to figure out how much to grow to make sure we have enough to sell. And then this annual projected sales tab, you can see there's $5,100 of lettuce in the projection. Now let's choose another crop, carrots. Um, we'll just drag the formula down. We're also going to be starting on the 6th of July. We're still going to the market, but we're going to be doing maybe 125 bunches of carrots at $4. And then we'll drag the formula down. And so over here, we could drag everything down, one. We want this to be this the next week. Now that we have those two rows, we can take them and we can drag them down. We wanna stop at October 26, so just delete the other rows. And we've done carrots. On this annual projected sales, it set shows that we're planning on making $8,500. And there's a little place down here where it shows the sum of what's being added up. And you can carry forward this way by inserting something and then dragging and dropping. And if you're gonna be using numbers, you wanna make sure you establish the pattern before you drag it and drop it. So that was using the fill handle to autofill cells. Thanks for watching. And if you have a crop planning or farm management question, feel free to email me direct message me or leave a comment in the comment section. So have a fantastic week and happy farming.